Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome to Palea. I did ask on Twitter if you guys would want to see any of this because I did get into the early access. Um, and most of you guys voted yes. So here we are. I am going to wait to see how this video does. If you want to see more, maybe we'll keep doing it. Um, I just barely started playing. Um, I got into the game yesterday. I didn't play too much because I, I do have an ongoing migraine going happening right now. So I'm kind of scattered. This video probably won't have a lot of editing if only because I kind of just want to play through it um, and see what it's all about. And hopefully you guys want to see that too instead of seeing like a bunch of edited bits put together and just seeing how the gameplay actually is. Um, I will note that I had to turn down my graphics did I miss something? No. Graphics to, I think, medium. Um, because I was having a lot of, like, frame issues. Like, it was skipping all over the place and it was just, it didn't look too good. But I do think the graphics are beautiful in this game. I just think my computer is like, mm-mm, this is too much. So I don't know if it's just not fully optimized yet or what. Um, I'm trying to clear out my plot of land. So we're over here in my little area. That's mine because I have to put down my tent. And the tent is, like, a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Um, I was trying to place it down a little bit ago and it, okay, I'm on the rock. Um, and it was like, no, there's too much stuff in the way. I'm like, okay, I guess I have to fix that. So I am just beating stuff up over here. Um, that should be plenty of room. I feel like that's kind of in the middle, but let me, this one tree is going to bug me. So we're just going to beat it up. Perfect. Now, hopefully this should allow me to place the stinking tent. Wait, go back. Is it letting me like pick a color? Why can't I pick the other one? You know, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along. <laughs> I don't own that. Something is in the way. Okay, I guess we're going right there. Boop. Hello, person. I'm going in my house. Um, I'm gonna put my storage chest down. Perfect. I did stuff. Okay. Talk to, is it Ani? When he visits your plot. What's up? <laughs> also, it's nighttime in my game, so I do apologize about that. Um, whew, good. You haven't left yet. My mom, Delayla, told me there was another new human in town, and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Welcome to Kilima. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani, and I had all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day, rain or shine, six in the morning, and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like someone who would like getting mail. I love getting mail. Good, then I bet you'll be happy with what I have for you. Come on, go check it out. It's your first mail delivery ever. Alright, so let's, I guess, check the mail. We have two new mails. Oh, I just click it. Oh, score. This is like Animal Crossing. Cool. How's it going? <laughs> I'm also getting like text message from my mom. <laughs> so how are you settling in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seem to find are rocks. <laughs> um, I found the strange artifact. But Gina might know she's always hanging out. Oh, I clicked too fast. <laughs> Don't click too fast. I'm so you because I play. I've been playing Diablo four, and I just. Constantly click past all the talking because I'm like, ah, I don't want to listen to it. Oh yeah, I almost forgotten all the excitement. I brought a present for you too. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. I'm a member of Kilima's best and only bug catching club. If I'm saying that wrong, please tell me. Um, it took me a bit to figure out how to pronounce Palea. Um, I keep wanting to call it Palea. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now and should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. Mm -hmm. You know, everyone's been wanting, waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. But I'm doing stuff. But I guess you don't care. Wait, I, like, do I gotta go this way? I think I gotta go this way. I also got some butter. Alright, so we're leaving my little plot area and going to the main town. Thanks for waiting. You'll be home soon. A glider? Wait, I want a glider. That's adorable. I want one. The graphics in this game are beautiful. They almost look a little bit like Fortnite. They're super cutesy. Um, and again, this is kind of a cozy MMO. 
I love MMOs, so I'm game. But like, look how beautiful this area is. It's a little person. Um, it's stunning. I think it's really, really pretty at least. Let's go ahead and hop on over. Who's who's closer? We're just running through town. Isn't it cute? I'm just gonna jump over stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna be that. He oh, that's so pretty right there. Oh, I didn't haven't seen that yet. Something I go gotta go down here. So we're gonna go over here. How do I get over there? I guess we'll go this way. We'll figure it out together. I'm really bad at directions, so. This is not altogether shocking. Um, if you guys were around in my when I was like actually regularly streaming on Twitch, um, and we did Firewatch. I was absolutely terrible. So bad. Hey, Ange, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? I found something you might be interested in. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for the ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you just found this under some old junk? I guess I'm just lucky. Well, this is certainly my lucky day. It might take me a bit... Oh. I'll send you a letter once I know something. Okay. So now I gotta find... Oh, there they are. Oh my gosh, there's so many things jumping out at me. <laughs> uh, but you see my game's like kind of stuttering. I don't know if it's because I have programs open. Because um, I think when I tried to play it yesterday, I did have The Sims open. Not at the same time, but I had it open prior. I also had The Sims open prior today because I actually recorded today. Um... So I don't know what's going on with that. Also, I apologize. I'm wearing it. I don't usually wear a lot of tank tops. Um, it's blazing hot in here, though. <laughs> well, if it is another friend I haven't met yet. I'm Badru the farmer, and I sense we have some good times ahead. I appreciate that. Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy. Can you teach me to garden? You come to the right place if you care about fresh quality produce. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had the kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. I feel like that's too real. I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great, especially if you love the smell of Ormu manure, Ormu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the steps. Looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with the new house. Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought it was super funny. Uh, I do like the day-night cycle. I like that it's not tied to my real-time thing like Animal Crossing. Um, I did actually recently get Cozy Grove because I just want something I can kind of play on my laptop in bed when I'm not feeling great. Um, I haven't played it yet though, but I know it runs on real-time. I love these little creatures and their noises. It's so freaking cute. Can I run through that? I can. Oh, that windmill's so pretty. Oh, look at the waterfalls. I didn't even notice those before. This game is so pretty. I'm hoping it'll become daytime so you guys can see it, like, during the day. Um, and during, like, sunrise and stuff. It's very, very pretty. How do I get up there? This way. I think. I think I'm going the right way. I think I'm just going back to my house? Maybe? Is that where I'm supposed to be going? I guess so. I had to talk to someone to learn how to cook, apparently. I don't even know if you're hungry. I don't know yet. Again, I haven't really played this, so I'm very excited to see how this turns out. Well, there he is. Good to see you again, Spring Bean. This place is already starting to look different. I figured you'd still be working on setting up that tent. That's some work ethic. Not, uh, I, want, I want it to feel homey. Just the right answer. I'm sure you're gonna fit in here just fine. I bet you've been working up an appetite from all that chopping and mining. Well, if you got patience, I got the solution to your woes. Gardening, all you have to do is wait for a few sun cycles and voila, dinner or breakfast, even lunch if the mood strikes you. I know, I know, it doesn't sound exciting, but trust me, nothing tastes better than a carrot you've grown yourself. I really want to actually have a garden in real life. I think that'd be pretty cool. 
I've got all the tools you need right here too. Go on, why don't you drop this plot down and give it a good till. Make sure your garden plot is on your action bar and select it by pressing the number. Sorry, I had a yawn. Aim where the garden plot should be placed and press. Yes, I know that. Once your plot is down, press and hold R and select the hoe from the tool wheel. Tilt the ground with the hoe by pressing and holding. Okay. And select them with the corresponding number key. Replacement mode. Okay. Many crops can only be harvested once until the cycle begins again. When crops are ready to be harvested, simply press up to harvest it. Okay. So I think four is my gardening thing. I guess I'm just gonna like... Yeah, let's place it right there. Or maybe up against this fence. That might be better. Alright. What is two? What is that? I'm not sure what that is, but I d which one is... I'm assuming it's this. Oh, I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> All right, let's try. Do I just keep holding it? Will it tell me when I'm good to go? I think I just keep, I think I have to do this whole thing is my assumption. Okay, oh, there we go. Okay, okay, I see. I actually quite like this gardening mechanic. Um, I'm excited to see how fishing works. Um, if it's better than Animal Crossings or, you know, how that does. I actually quite like Animal Crossings thing. I hate Stardew Valleys. Me and Stardew Valley do not get along when it comes to fishing. But this is actually quite nice. It's nice and easy, actually. But I like that it takes a little bit more time than just, like, digging something up. I'm sure at some point I'll get frustrated by how long it takes, but for right now, I'm quite enjoying it. It's very calming. Especially because, like, it's it's been a long day. I have a really bad migraine. I probably shouldn't be looking at the screen, but here we are. I wanted to show you guys this game. Because, um, you know, why not? Okay, I gotta return to him. I'm assuming he's probably gonna give me seeds. That's my assumption here. Might be wondering what to do next. Unfortunately, seeds don't plant water themselves. You're gonna need some of these bad boys. Heck yeah. Give me those seeds. It might take a few sun cycles to get back this water, but trust me, it'll be worth the wait. Sorry, I read really fast when I'm going through MMOs. <laughs> some things you plant might have an effect on the seeds around it. For example, carrots and onions keep weeds from growing next to them. Interesting. If you find yourself needing more seeds, you can pick them up at Zeke's. Well, I can't wait to see you again, neighbor. That would have been funnier if I'd given you wheat seeds. I gotta work on my material. <laughs> He's hilarious. I freaking love him. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm fine. Let's, let's plant some carrots. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty easy. It looks like we have some more stuff. E. All right. It looks like I got another gardening plot. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna put it right there. That way, it's right next to that one. Heck yeah. Oh, it's like becoming sunrise. It's gonna be so pretty. I'll wait to do this off camera just because who wants to see that? Okay, what do I have to do now? Water your seeds. Okay. Watering can. What would fill watering cans from the nearby pool? Simply equip your watering can, press right click. Press and hold R and select watering can. Okay. Your crops will never wither. Progress is only paused until they are watered. Gotcha. Okay, my watering can's empty, so I gotta run over here. And get some water. Also, do you guys like my pigtails? I thought they were super cute. <laughs> my husband was like, oh yeah, they're adorable. <laughs> oh, wrong, wrong button. Oh, okay. That's actually, I quite like that. The noises are super satisfying. <laughs> I like that a lot. Okay, I miss this guy. There we go. Water in our plants. 
This game is so freaking cute. I can see myself sinking a ton of hours into this harvest, the carrot harvest and honey. Well, I can't really do that until they grow. Um, I guess let's head into town. Um, plus it's about to be like sunrise and I want you guys to see it. I want to see, I haven't seen a sunrise yet, so I'm very excited to see it. Again, I haven't played too much. I played through the intro, I made my character, and then I kind of turned it off. Um, because I started playing yesterday when I first got the migraine, um, and I was trying to stave it off and then it, it hit anyway. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna have the migraine either way, so I might as well have fun, right? All right. Hello. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I gotta go talk to this person. Ref. It's kind of a cool name, actually. <laughs> the sounds of the animals are so cute. I feel like my husband would like this game. Um, let me probably get bored. He, listen, he, he's played Minecraft with me and he will find a tree and dump so much lava all over it that it turns into a lava tree and you just see it off in the distance on fire. I had to turn off fire spread because he was setting the entire little valley on fire and I was very upset. Oh, hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Name's Ruth, but you can call me Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I asked I'd kill him with delicious soups and stews over at the Ormu's Horn. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with a new friendly, friendly new face. Can you teach me to cook? Whoa there, you gotta learn to walk before you can run. I think that's what I said. Unless you're a fish, but I'm like 97% sure you're a human. Why don't you start by start out by making campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms, like a champ will get you started on the complicated stuff. Very sassy. Oh, if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but hey, I won't judge either way. Okay. I'll see you around. I would like to talk to Kenley because I do really want to have a house instead of a tent. Um, because I know you can customize the house. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I wonder if there's weather in this game. But like, ah, oh, it's so freaking cute here. I like it. I'm pretty sure I played a little bit when it was super, super early. Because I feel like I remember playing it with Joey. Um, but gosh, it's so, it's so good now. Like, I'm so happy they gave me access to it. And, and super big thank you for allowing me access and to be able to play this. And, you know, actually make content on it. It's freaking adorable and kind of what I've been needing. I've been playing so much Dead by Daylight and stuff lately. Dead by Daylight and Diablo mostly and like it's nice having something else to kind of decompress with. See in here? Where are you? Oh, you're over here. Look at this fountain. The sun's starting to come up. Yeah, see I remember Kenley. So I'm 90% I'm sure I played this before. Like, I feel like I remember me and Joey being in calm playing this. Anyway, greetings. I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari, the firstborn son of the late Kenjin Bahari, the 118th Duke of the Bahari province, and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the current Duchess of the Bahari province. I am mayor of this fine village, and it's a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. I want to ask about getting a house. A house? And you're er, asking me? Well, that, well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I want to build my own. All right, yes, of course, because you have just moved in. The plot didn't come with one. No matter, I'm sure we ha I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh no, where is it? Go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'd be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I locate these forms. Of course. Um, but I, d oh, wait, let's get like a good vantage point because this, it's so pretty. Can I get out this way? I can't. Let me out. Oh, look at the wisteria. This game is beautiful. <laughs> I just, I want to see it. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. I'm already in love with this game. Can I take a screen cap somehow? I don't know how. I'm just going to press print screen. I know how to do it on Steam, but I am going to leave this here. Let me know if you want to see more of Palea. I would love to show you more. Um, if you want to see it, you're interested in it. Again, please let me know. I know we mostly do Sims here, but if you guys want to see more of this, I am happy to make content on it because it's super fun. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!